Remember an old time. Deal with it. Lobster and crab meat stuff, baked Run. clams. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at the lobster and and, and clam uh, burger, lobster and crab burger. Came from the stores here, Mike. And it says, "Bring your banker." <laughs> Bring your banker. <laughs> market price? Did, did you say market price next to it? You know what that means? It's just nineteen nine. It's just nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> it used to be the Marks place, and, and the, they, they built a giant dragon. And since then, they 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 sold it, and then the new owners they built onto the dragon, and they put the shells and dragons coming out of the eggs onto uh, to the and uh, expanded that. So, and I don't know if the tornadoes or storms or anything has, has, has diminished that, but. Uh, Who's a good place for us to pull up a boat and party and hang out? And uh, so I was hanging out there one day, and uh, the Marine Patrol came up, and apparently someone had broken into one of the houses or something, so they were looking at us as suspects. I'm like, hey, I'm in my boss, and well, we don't have any anything here that you know would indicate that we broke into anywhere or got anything. We're just here partying, you know, looking, chilling out at the goddamn dragon, you know. Which we, I did on a regular basis, and I had permission from the Marks to, to hang out there, you know, so it was not, not a big deal. But they ended up taking us into Indian Harbor and, uh, you know, having us sit there and, and, and bring the people down to see if they could identify us as the people that did that. We got released and sent on our way. Can you imagine if they said that was you? Then it would be complete setup. It would have been a bullshit because we wasn't doing that. We was just, you know, hanging out with some chicks, being a buddy of mine, you know, Bill Jackson, and chilling out at the Dragon. Is that, is that, uh, what's the name of that bridge? This is uh, a Galley Causeway. Or is the other I know what I'm going to go for. Mathers Bridge is on, on, when we go, we go over this way, we're going to go down, and then we're going to come back over yeah. at the Indian Harbor. And that goes right into uh, Merritt Island. Island, so you go over the Mathers Bridge. Right. And they used to have a Mathers Bridge restaurant right on the very end of it. Yeah. I used to go there and, and chill out. And I was 14 years old. I'd go get their, get beers and, and drinks and, and food. Oh, they never and started you? No, nah, I, I had a mustache and, you know, looking at everything since I was 14 years well, old. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was never carded. I've had so much fun in this area, and I've had so much trouble in this area. I've had a bad part in my life that I don't regret. So, uh, yeah, yeah. One smart decision. Yeah, it was your part in my life. I'll tell you about that in those times. What? What are you going to tell them about? Nothing you need to know. What? You take less of me. I know sexual? you can think of it less of me already, but... Uh, is it sexual? He was well, out I was, here I was with a... Uh, That's what he's going to say. A shark? He's having... Are you out here molesting sharks, Mike? Nah. nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, you didn't abuse animals. Don't tell me that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. If you tell me that, then... Nah, I was not abusing any animals. I have rode a manatee before. Rode a manatee? That's illegal. It is? When yeah. it comes up between oh. your legs... And you're swimming in the water, and it comes up, and you grab a hold. Oh, that's different. And it gives you three or four shifts. <laughs> well, you just grab a hold, but if he, if he comes up between your legs. Was well, it exciting? I, I got a nice, I got an eight-second ride. <laughs> I, oh, I, I won the championship of manatee riding. Or the championship for it, if there was a prize, oh yeah, I didn't get the button, the, the, the belt he, buckle, but... Uh, he got Senior's crazy side, man. Thank God you didn't get his uh, sociopathic side. 
Right, yeah, I don't feel like harming anybody. Yeah. People have been harmed because of my actions, but that was because of their interactions with me. Oh. People have died because of trying to... Did you learn that when uh, you went to the big house? No. That sounds like something you would learn at the big house. No, no one taught me anything in the big house except how to do more dangerous stuff that I didn't care to know, and uh, so air the people moved off the bed. I, I, I stayed to myself. Yeah. I, I put headphones on, put a book in front of my face, or I drew or did artwork and I made money that way because no one was yeah, sending me the commissary. You know he's an artist. I used to be. Yeah. What did you draw? Excuse I would draw uh, portraits for people. You know, they wanted, hey, here's a picture of my girlfriend, you know, or my wife, you know, can you draw this, or my daughter, you know, so I'd, I'd, I'd knock that out and you know, a few, three or four days. They, you know, look just exactly like it. And they did give me three or four hundred dollars a commissary, so you know, it paid for my living there. Didn't you, know? you draw Snoopy? Oh, you started out doing this. Snoopies and stupid stuff on envelopes, you know, little did you ever show, shit. Uh, it got, got to where I was doing, um, like the motorcycle cover spreads of uh, E V U Rider with the three pages, and I, I would do all the spokes. And all the silver and, and everything it was all laid out and detailed, and every bit of it was exact. And I would charge like five hundred dollars for those. And people, were, people had money in the fucking jail. Why aren't you doing put, this on your spare time? It's therapeutic. You could be selling your art. What would could you? I had two eyes back then. You can't see it now. I can't see it now. I don't see the anymore. I'm older now. You can't I draw don't, with one eye? I can still draw with one eye, but uh, not as good as I used to. No? No. I can still paint a straight line like I used to for the drawing and the, I love uh, the, the coloring hey, and every the detail. Hey, back kind of dog. Uh, uh, Grab his feet. Life stuff. Carol you're told shocking, me this funny story of him. Oh, uh, well, I mean, you want to know the truth or you want to sugarcoat it? No. I ain't sugarcoating shit. Yeah. <laughs> His mother didn't tell him the truth. To be honest, I prefer the truth, so I'm happy to hear it. It's honestly. He was my best friend. But I almost had to beat him up. Because I asked him, I said, he goes, Mike, can I date your sister? I said, yeah, you got three rules. Don't ever hit my sister. Don't ever involve my mom in your situation with my sister. And don't involve me with your situation. Three rules. You can abide by those. I, you can you can date my sister all you want. They got in an argument. He slapped my sister. My mom got in the middle of it. He threatened her. That brought me into the picture. So I was like, all right. I don't want to do this because you're a good friend of mine. But, you know, you've got your dudes coming. So I, I went down there to go kick his ass. And he had a friend of his that was a Colombian that was a, a, a boxer. So he's like, I am, I'm, I'm, you're not going to hurt my friend. I'm like, hey, he, he had three rules. Don't hit my sister. Don't threaten, don't get my mom, and don't threaten my mom, and don't get me involved. And he did all three. He goes, he's all yours. Mm -hmm. So I brought him outside. I said, step outside so we don't have to mess up your furniture or anything. I'm just going to fucking hit you once, fall down. We'll get up, we'll shake hands, I'll brush you off, we'll call it a day. I got ready to fucking draw back and hit him, and he's like, he started crying, I was like, God damn it, I can't do that. Started <laughs> <laughs> crying? Oh, yeah, he, he knew it was, was, was going to whip his ass. I wasn't going to, I was just going to fucking knock him down. You know, fucking get back up, and we'll call it a day, brush it off, and we'll move on. But... We went by it, and you know, I said, all right, man, this is your one and only shot at this. Don't ever make this happen right. again. So, yeah, there's two different versions, it seems to be, with every family. Bad About what? Well, you had one version of the second thing now, Captain, two versions, and there was uh, more than two versions of Carla Power, Charles' sister, Captain. Well, I don't know anything about Carla Power. And then there you know. was like four or five different versions of Chalice's spirit. 
I wasn't around when Charles disappeared, so I don't know about her, but uh, I just know that they were having a really bad time. And uh, as I asked, he already left them. He, he talked her into getting back together again when she was running to get rid of them. Yeah. And she was trying to expose things that she shouldn't and, have been doing. And she was getting alimony. He didn't like sharing his money. No. Uh, Nobody. He got wrong, the wrong advice about all the people that were doing drug business with him, like Stephen Carson. Stephen wasn't a liability. He went to prison. Of course, he might. That's rec recommendable. You know, I'd like to get to know him. Because oh, no, he, he asked me to kill him, so I'd like to get to another guy that I was supposed to have like, taken care of. What I want to know is how come his boat was in Hattie? Maybe that's where the last ship had got dropped off. Probably. It was a good place to do it. A lot it of play in this spots, and you could just pull up alongside of the shrimp boats and stuff. And in the middle of the night, yeah. transport, and off it goes. But they had to alternate their routes. Yeah, hey, don't do it in Louisiana again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta make new, new areas. Now, the old man had the greatest place right there on Merritt Island. Drop off the road. We had a 180 foot dock, big boats could come in, and we had a fucking garage right in our backyard. And You're unlucky in love. Hope. Well, you might be right. Basically, unlucky. <laughs> but lucky in some things. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know what you're lucky of? You didn't get honey. Right? Yeah, okay. And uh, have you been tested? I did get it, yeah. You've been tested? Yeah. The doctor said I have it. Have it? No. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I was, dying, I was diagnosed about three years ago. That's why I never fucking wanted a kid. I said, I'm not going to have a kid. You know, to be honest. have that fucking chance of doing that, dude. I, I feel the same. I'm also very against having kids. For well, no. Kid. I mean, especially because, you know, you're fucking... God damn it, son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I'm yeah. Don't piss me off. If I'm if I'm honest, <laughs> if I'm honest, dude, I expected it since I was a kid. Really did. Probably about the same time as my mom did in her 30s. But right now, I don't feel any of the symptoms. The only symptom I notice right now is I have really bad short-term memory. That's about it so far. So, if I'm honest, I, I, I think my symptoms are lighter than my mom's were. But, such a thing? Such a thing is lighter than symptoms. Yeah. From her mother to her to you. You were her only child. Yep. Yeah. Doctor said more than likely I'll probably die about the same time as my mom did in her 50s. Uh, yeah? Mm -hmm. So know why I never bought any property? Because I didn't expect to live that long. <laughs> I expected to die at 30, not yeah. 60. Yeah. And I was a dumbass and didn't get it. I was, no, was going to drink myself and smoke myself to death, and I fucking didn't get it. Well, guess what? Part of you that didn't. Now you feel like you have a reason to live. Yeah. What? Enjoy his life. He yeah. has left. He's the only family you have left. AJ's not going to be there for you. She don't give a shit. I don't even know. Trish Paul's kids don't give a shit. They probably know. have it too. They probably have it too. Jonathan refuses to get tested. He wants to be in denial. I never got tested, but. What's the point? Well, you're 60. You already got past it. If you were going to have it, you would have gotten it in your younger years. Kiss it at different ages, though. You're not. Okay. Let's get back to reality here. Okay? Reality. Yeah. I hate reality. 
Me this too. is why I invited Connor down here so we could establish, re-establish the relationship. Right. Now you just got the next. I got what? You just got the new. Yeah. That's hard to swallow, though. You two need to. Yeah, I was expecting this to shout out. I was expecting this for a while. You know, I, I stayed I, up in Indiana for 20 years taking care of your grandmother and, it was and probably, your mom. Probably the best years of your life when you think about it hindsight. Because when I took care of my mother, I would never change anything for what I did. It was not the best years of my life, and uh, I hated Indiana to begin with. And I spent 20 years in misery there because that's what families do to take care of family. family. That's right. But uh, I'd be there for you, brother. Appreciate it. If you need my help, get your ass all down to Florida. <laughs> 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 no, we gotta get to the house. Right. We gotta do go what? We'll shoot from over there. If we wanna come back, we can shoot up. One. Because I wanted to uh, FaceTime Nancy Baker at 1 o'clock so she can see Mike and come in front of the house. She's got an agenda. Oh. This was a pocket lot, now it's a peaceful oasis. You got it, you got it. This was a pizza hut. Now it's all covered with daisies. You got it, you got it. I miss the honky tonk, Dairy Queens, and 7 Elevens. So this is State Road 513. So this road technically will take you back to the turnpike. No, nah, this won't take you back. I said 513. It's gonna happen. Okay, I make turns. Where do I turn? I don't know if I get to talk about it. Mike! GPS is our nice. Mike! I'm watching. GPS is our nice. You're going to get in the left lane lane and uh, go about another two miles. And, uh, <laughs> But this is my old stopping ground here. This is my It's kind of nice. Yeah. This again is the Mathers Bridge. Hold on. Please. Banana River. Alright. Take the Banana River. Uh -huh. I used to live there, right there in that corner apartment. Then we take this little bridge to Barrier Island. Yeah, this is Mather's Bridge. Drawbridge. Oh, they still have an old fashioned bridge that turns sideways. Right? Like the Hillsborough Inlet. The Hillsborough Inlet Bridge used to be like that. Spain Bridge. It used to be a drawbridge, but. I believe it's not. No, it's not. I can't believe you didn't build another restaurant right there on the corner. It was a beautiful spot. It was right on the right hand side. You know where that bent ticket at the lot is? That's where the restaurant used to be. Is this the only way on or off? No. There's another one at the other end. Yeah, right? you know, yeah, yeah, you gotta go to Pine. Oh look, you can get a little houseboat stuff. That, that used, looks used to be fucking there used to be a restaurant right here, Mathers Bridge restaurant. I go down there about every afternoon, you know, I'm not gonna have a couple of beers. What's the address again? One I don't know, I'll tell you. The this was my father's racetrack. They didn't have speed bumps back then. <laughs> <laughs> he would do 95 miles an hour down this road. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Time to go carry the speed bumps back out, huh? Yeah. Oh, nice, I was the white one was with the bat. So you got the Indian River here and the Banana River right there. The ocean is a mile away.
What do they call it? The Banana River. I'm curious. I don't know. I can't remember when they said it. There's a lot of bananas there. I don't know. <laughs> this, is all, this is all groves back in the day. So this is all, they didn't have houses there. They had groves here. They had sections that were banana trees, sections that were avocados, sections that were key limes, sections that were fucking, you know, um, malt, wild fruit. And, and oranges, and this is all just roads. And they said, hey, this is a good place to make a lot of fucking fruit. And before the this fucking development came, back in the fucking 1800s or whatever, this is all fucking un undeveloped land. They had that tent on the top of this. I used to climb up to adjust my fucking uh, radio uh, antenna that she'll tell you about one day or whatever. My father's room was right there. And then we had the office over here. We had a pool table and everything in, the, in there. My brother slept there. My dear mom slept on the other side. Oh, no, your mom, your mom slept right there. My brother slept on the other side of that. Where you not go? Oh. We had a we had a larger larger fence and all that because there was used to have tigers and and, and the guy that built this house was on safari all the time. He'd bring lions and tigers and shit <laughs> to stay here. So the fence was like real tall. Why they the fence? Well, these people did their own thing. You know? they, 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 this is a concrete driveway, and now they got it fucking pretty weird thing. It changes and shit happens. I just don't know why someone would want to throw their fence like that. They don't have lions and tigers. Like that. Privacy's nice. Yeah, that's it, 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 it. I was thinking maybe more it might have been a, uh, what do you call it, like a city one day thing. Because I know that all the other people's fences are that high. All on the floor, all the same height. Right. Uh, That's what I was thinking, right? Like, yeah. If yeah, you have a, have a 180 foot dock out back, that sounds nice. Yeah, we didn't have a dock out front. This is all fucking mangrove or all area. Oh, okay. So we had a little bit of an area patch, but uh, I think the old man put these rocks in here to keep people from parking. Where are that? But, uh, uh, this is this was where I grew up, went through junior high and whatnot. But yeah, it was a nice place. My memories are good. Nice people. She found who the people were, but she never got a hold of them. I guess she's got the phone ready. Someone's on the phone with her. No. No? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. Oh. No? It's awesome. Probably not the same name as I knew. This is all avocados. You should have an avocado stand right here. Free for a dollar on your honor system. I had a little can with a slit in it. People put money in there and grab avocados. And they fucking pour them all out. What a fucking shame. My mom did a bunch of landscaping. We built a uh, pool in the back. Great people inside are wondering what the fuck we're doing. Remember an old time. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Used to be my house. Yeah. Your mom, my brother, and my sister lived off the proceeds from selling this house, though. Sure is nice. I'm getting hot. Go Florida. Yeah. <laughs>
Shade knife. Enjoy, Enjoy the burn. <laughs> you know, I just realized I didn't even get try taking a picture of the house. Then we got a Paul descent and Mr. Paul himself. So, um, tell me, what are you feeling? Nostalgia. Nostalgia? Yeah. Really? Good seeing the old... Which roof did you used to get on? Second story? Yeah. Had to, had a 40-foot antenna. I used to climb and get up on top of there. Yeah? And, uh, uh, the housekeeper, not the mic, Annie. <laughs> used to scold me for getting up there, but... Nancy. Nancy yeah, I just I, tried I, to call her. I'd have to readjust the fucking antenna every once in a while. And the only way I can do that is get up to the top. Where'd you sell the avocados that Junior used to steal them? I used to have right there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> How much a, a piece? Three for a dollar. Avocados this big. Oh, man. We had 25 How much would you get for it now? Shit, they, they, they sell the avocados now that are this big, those are the size of the pits that we used to have in our avocados. <laughs> yeah, I heard your mother got upset because she froze avocados and uh, Senior threw them and out. We had avocado, we she had was guacamole upset. all the time. We had fucking a key lime tree right in the center. And uh, if I didn't pick them every day off the ground and pick up the ones that are ready to fall, it burned grass, hole in the grass. You know, the only really? one to stand up for that, so. Yeah? It was, it was a lot of work. Uh, I hope this guy doesn't get upset. I gotta uh, talk to him. He'll be alright. Huh? <laughs> I was just saying, I wonder if someone's gonna come out and be like, Who the hell are you? Why are you feeling my ass? I used to live here. Shut <laughs> up. Yeah, that's what we're gonna say, I know. This <laughs> is pretty much it. Just culture. Maybe they'll even invite us in if they are like, Wait, you used to live here? This is paradise. I wish I had a lawn mower. You, you got, got it. Right. You got it. But uh, straight ahead was some good surfing right in this area. That's where me and Bubba used to go surfing. The guy that floated ashore in Spain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you could find out more about him. My friend Mike Allen lived right down that way. That was the guy that, uh, I got the, the, the false passports for my father. Where? Right down that way. Mike Allen? House? Yeah. Oh shit, he's still around. No, nah, he doesn't move off right now. Right last, night, I, last night I talked to him, he was in Palm Bay. He had a Chattahoochee rock business. He has a Chattahoochee rock business? Yeah, we, you, know, you know the stuff they put around pools back in yeah, the yeah. Eight, 70s, 80s? He used to redo the Chattahoochee rock and, and install it and whatnot. That was his business. I'm sure he's, if he's not dead, he, he, he moved on from doing that. I think there was a public there, but uh, that expanded, obviously. This is the land of oceanfront condos. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to rely on Mike's memory? No, that's not a good idea. <laughs> background. Indian Atlantic. Shows up in the background. Do you remember the address by chance? Are you serious? I, I try to live with house address. I don't know my last address. I don't even know what my address is now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 3,000. It's going to be, we're yep. going to have to get on the right hand lane. Yeah. And there's gonna be a, like a wind dixie or something coming up, and uh, it's gonna be right behind there. Kind of wind dixie. If we already. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, he should be a burger right. chef, not a burger king. Oh, that's where the car show came from. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, in that parking lot. There was like five cars with their hoods up it. That five old classic cars and an SSR with yeah, their they hoods up. The and there's an old OG Mustang. First and Mustang just went by. Yeah, we're still in Indian Harbor right now. It's in the Atlantic Alright, this is Ugali right here, so it's right after this. I think. Now this restaurant right here, I, I knew the girl that used to be the manager of this place. Up in, up in Yeah, this is just a couple minutes, couple, couple more roads down the street here. There's a there's a bar in there. I knew the girl that used to run that motel room, but I met her up in uh, Georgia. We got to compare our notes. It's probably going to be up at this light, I think, instead of to the right. And there should be a shopping center right up there. Then we take the first left. People are at the beach baking. Look at this. The beach is hot. Yeah, I know, right? Florida. What do you think beaches are for? I live back there. That's so we're we're like a, right this right here, right here. Boss kind, right? Yeah, yeah. They, these are the this little. Boss kind. Yeah, yeah. You get to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's there's where the shopping center was, and then we're gonna take a a left. Who's have a bungalow house there? What did I say the address was? It's got, the left. It's got arch, arch columns on it. Spanish style. So we came back to the old neighborhood in Indy Atlantic where uh, Joyce Paul and Tanya Paul lived. Arch Spanish style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea why, but this house seems somewhat familiar. Uh, it looks familiar? Yeah, I have no idea why either. It just does. It had a gazebo in the back. And it, had an arch. it had an arch on the Let me turn side, too. So this guy doesn't get probably, pissed. I'm in the charge. Probably yeah. uh, been renovated and remodeled, but. We had a big P on the, on the doorways that had a big archway door. The double doors and the big P put was on there. Does it look the same? Well, other than they they removed the, on the side, used to have a big arch going over. But I bet my neighbor still lives here. This is um, where Mike Secadino passed away. Here. Oh, look at Mike's, the neighbor remembers them. Isn't that funny? You remember it? Connor, you remember it? You were two. I, yeah, but I, I don't know why I feel like I remember it. I, I don't, it's like the outside of the house just feels familiar. But like, Maybe your father's spirit's here with you. Wow. Good to see an old friend. Right here. Right there. What? The dragon tower. Oh, shit. It used to be right on that point. There's a big old dragon and all its heads. And they got rid of it? Must have got bowled away. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a very tip of South Carolina that we just found earlier. There's a big old dragon here. I mean, forty foot long, big green thing. Look. 
But back in the day, Annie the Dragon, a towering creature with a crooked smile and a green concrete skin, stood watch over the point. I'm doing well. We were just going through the Nerd Island and you know all the places we've been through and uh, showing Connor where he was conceived and, 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 you know, and all that kind of stuff. Connor, my nephew, my sister's my my sister's son. And, uh, they're still looking like it used to. They, they, I mean, they, they changed the fencing and they took all the avocado trees and all that good stuff out, you know, made it their own. Made it different, but yeah, just the the structure is still the same. So that's that's nice. I remember, I remember he told me that that front fence before he bought it had a lion in it. Yeah, yeah, that's why they had the big fence up there because the the, the guy that built the house was a, a a safari guy, so he'd bring lions and stuff back from so cool. <laughs> So they had, had wild lions running around in, the, in his, his, his yard and crazy guy, but. <laughs> well, it must, must Probably my kind of guy. That place. Right? Uh, crazy people brought it and earned it. So uh, we went down to a house that we used to live in, and uh, I went and knocked on the door of the neighbor's house, and my friend John was still there after 30 some years. Which was wow. amazing. Yeah, it was good to see my friend. You know, of course, we're all a little older, and he's like, he looked at me like, "Hey, I remember you. Yeah, okay, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> so that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. a little nostalgia. Yeah, I'm, I'm walking around in my old stomping grounds. I used to hang out, and so it, it's, it's a good thing. Nice. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice tropical weekend. You know, kind of thing to chill out and relax. Uh, if it's 90 every day, I'm smiling every day. Honestly, I hear you. I hate when it gets cold. I'll take the heat over the cold any day. And chill so I, 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 might, I might get Connor coming down here and be a Floridian again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Man, as he was born here, you should be, you know, grew up here. You, know? <laughs> you grew up a lot, but you ain't growing up enough. You know, you need to get Florid <laughs> Floridized. I was a troublemaker. Climbing roofs and uh, climbing roofs yeah. and taking boats out when I, you know, supposedly wasn't supposed to, but the old man gave me the approval to do that shit years, you know, before, so I, I'm just doing what I do, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, you took me out on the catamaran once, we had a good time. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, we went. We went over a manatee. Yeah. And that's the first time and only time I've seen one. Ah, I've rode a manatee before. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them about climbing on the roof, and I was trying to get down off that roof, and you wouldn't. Yeah, she was asking me, so which roof was you on? I was like, well, I was on the top of that one, and uh, we had a, we had an antenna that went up, you know, 40 feet, so it was like. Ten more feet above the roof line, and you know, I climbed up there to adjust my antenna for my my mobile base that I had, you know, CB radio, and so I was just doing what I usually do, and you like, get out of there! I'm responsible for this, and I'm like, hey, I, I'm, I did that when the old man was there, so I didn't see no problem with it, but you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I didn't want you to fall off on my watch. All right, I understand that you was responsible, and you know, you did a good job, and, and uh, you kept the house up really, really well, and so you know, it was all good. Yeah, we had a good time. So, what'd you ever do with that pink car? <laughs> oh man! She went to have her, her her car painted red. And they didn't have enough red, so they mixed some white in it. <laughs> Made a pink car. <laughs> oh, That's right. And you know what? I, I sued him in small claims court and won. <laughs> Never got any money. No, of course not.
The old man was a tight ass. Nah, you ain't getting on by him. Shit. What are you thinking? Well, you know, it's, I want to cross that little bridge down in uh, Merritt Island, the one at the very end. Ma- Ma- Mathers are... Bridge, yeah, we just went across that. Yeah, well, that thing, somebody dropped a can of paint as I was going by and splattered my car. Ah. And I, and I got home, and he said, well, let me fix it. And he, he smeared something on it, like paint thinner. Right. the finish. Ah. So that's why I said they'd paint it. Okay, I got you. And I'm, I think Bogey worked there at the time. Right? You remember Bogey? Oh, yeah, yeah, he was our painter guy, yeah. Yeah. Good good man. Yep. And then there was a Steve Cravens. Right? Yeah. He was, uh, I don't know, just one of the mechanics. So where are you guys now? Uh, we're, we're on the other side of... Uh, O'Galley Causeway, and uh, I guess we're going to take a boat ride after this. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, finish the night off, you know, and give my give my nephew a little enjoyment of Florida, you know, a little taste of nice. what he's missing, and he's already considering coming down here. So, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get him get him Florida ties. This has grown up a lot since I've been here. You said it's grown up a lot? Yeah, well, progress, you know. Where? More people want to come down and enjoy the beautiful nature. Oh, yeah, Changes perspective of what you remember. I suppose that makes sense. Forty years from when I was here, it was a whole lot different. A lot smaller, but less yeah, tourists. A lot of fucking dirt roads and sand, and that was all paved. So, which one do you like better right now? The way it used to be or today? The way it used to be, of course. Fair enough. You always remember your childhood days and the good times. Good to be going back and seeing what's come of it. Yeah, I can't go down with it. It takes the good with the bad. Life goes on, right? Yep. Nothing to do about it. A lot of, a lot of history here. You gotta make history somewhere else down the road. Yeah. It sure is nice here, though. Yeah, it's nice here. This is, other than the Keys, moving down there and, and retiring there, this is probably where I've been in my life. Call it a day. It's a good spot to retire. You got it, you got it. Don't leave me standing here. I can't get used to this lifestyle.